if you're looking to improve frame rates on your GE Logic E or Vividi, there's a few things you can look at here that will have a fairly dramatic impact on your frame rate. The first thing is your sector width. Now notice I'm starting at a frame rate of 49 hertz, it's about 49 frames per second. So if I click on scan area here and decrease that sector, I just went up to 371 frames per second. Now obviously you don't want something that small, but if you can get it to a smaller area, you're going to jump up your frame rate and really help it out in color a little bit when you get there. So if I just make it about that size, I'm at 63 frames per second. So that's not a bad place to start without having to change anything else. Next thing you'll look at is your focus number. I'm going to push this down. If I add a focus number, okay, I just brought my frame rate down to 14 hertz by having too many focal zones. So you see I have four up here. I'm going to bring them down to one. I went to 63. I went to two. I went to 33. Three, I went to 23. So if you can keep focal zones lower, you're going to have a higher frame rate that way as well. Next, you want to adjust your depth. If you can go to a little bit shallower of a depth, you'll help your frame rate a little bit. Now, it doesn't always help. After a certain depth, it doesn't make a difference. So for after about 12 or 13, I'm not really improving my frame rate beyond that 63. Right there at about 15 is when it starts to make a difference in my frame rate. So if you're too deep, you're not going to get as good of a frame rate. From this point forward, the next steps that I take, you're going to make a trade between image quality and frame rate. This is true in 2D and color. So when I go to these 2D image imaging techniques, I'm going to change something called the line density. That will actually